Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here. We don't need no stinking record company .com. Well, um, we talked a little bit last night about some of those highfalutin trips you might get to take on the airplane, but more often than not, you're going one or two or three hundred miles from one gig to the next, and you are trying to figure out how to do it as cheaply as possible. So let me throw a couple of things at you over the next couple nights. Um, first and foremost, get everything you possibly can into as few vehicles as possible. And so um, it might be worth renting or buying a, uh, not a minivan, but a full-size van. I suppose you could take a minivan with a light trailer, but it's going to have to be a very light trailer because those um, doggone transmissions you know, fry so doggone easily. So um, I recommend a full-size van uh, to uh, haul your basic equipment and you. And, uh, you know, if, if you have to have a separate equipment truck, okay, but you really want to try to get as much into one vehicle as you possibly can and travel in that vehicle. Is it worth it to get um, a large, you know, excursion uh, tour bus or even a small excursion tour bus of some kind? Um, I'll tell you, when you do the math, it gets pretty expensive to do that in a hurry, even if you're uh, not hiring a driver to drive it for you. Um, so. You know, you're not only playing, paying 45 or 55 cents per mile, you're paying the gas on top of that, and you might get six gallons, uh, or six, six miles to the gallon. I was going to say six gallons to the mile. It's probably more accurate. Anyway, but by compacting everything into one vehicle, uh, you're reducing a whole bunch of your travel costs. You're raising a little bit of risk in that you also have to, do, uh, have to worry about breakdowns, uh, taking your whole band out in, in terms of uh, stopping you. But um, that's probably worth um, worth the uh, trade-off. So uh, we're going to talk about some more cost-cutting tips on the next blog. I am Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.